Hi, we're going to set up a really simple AI navigation today. Now this applies to other games and gins slightly different ways, but we're going to use Unreal for this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start Unreal and launch it and you get this project browser. We're in this new project tab and you get a load of blueprint or C++ um, templates. So if I just go to back to blueprints and I select the third person here and what I want to do is create something called AI navigation navigation as my project and hit create project. Now that could be named anything I've just done it so it's obvious to what this is going to be an example of. So we're going to wait a few seconds for this to load up as it sets up the editor and compile shaders, all that stuff that it does when it's getting ready. And you get this basic map. And if you've any used the uh, Unreal Engine templates, if you press play, you get your third person character that you can build a level around and switch out. But that's not what we're doing today. So I'll close him for a second. Now, these blueprints, as I said, live in that blueprints folder that I clicked on. And here's your third person character. Now, what we want to do is make this zombie character, this NPC to follow you around or attack you, and you could add some sort of damage. If he's close to the player, then it could damage the player. But we're not going to go into that much detail today. All we're going to do is right click on it and go to duplicate and we're going to, have to name him zombie is that what, is effectively what he's going to be now at the moment if we open it we've got all the stuff that makes the player actually when they're using the controls move around the character in the game so that's all that is it, the input axis is and input access lookup rates and all sorts here for controlling that character input touches for mobile so but we don't need any of these we're just gonna we're just gonna remove them so if I drag that across you see that there's a white box if I hit delete it's all gone I don't need any of that what I also need to remove is if I go to viewport you see this camera here now we don't need this camera this is for you as a player so you can have it follow the character but we don't need it if it's an AI character so delete that and delete this other thing camera boom so we've just got capture uh, arrow component which you never see in game anyway and the actual mesh it himself with his idle animation in that browser we compile that close it that's all we're going to do for that all we need to do is drag him into the level and as soon as you do he'll just pop up to the right height there we go he's he's just going to be over there actually let's let's do something let's do something to make it a bit more interesting if we go to this character now actually if we just open him up see we've got these textures here if i click there on that little look, looking glass it takes you to his material what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this uh, this is just a little bit of an extra and we're going to call it M zombie for zombie character and if I just open this up got a bunch of different things here now this body colour now Let me just have a look. Let's build. Yeah, should be able to do this. So at the moment, it's just this grey colour. Now, if you just go into this body colour here and just move this slider, you see we're, we're picking that green colour, making it look like a zombie then. Just wait for it to. Update. I think it's just because it's updating. It's black. 
hopefully. Let's wait. And there we are, he's green now. So if we close that. Hit yes. Now there's still some other colours in there. I think of there's some other maskings slightly different, so we won't worry about that, but we'll apply it to this guy and just you know dragged him on there and then there he is, he's a green character now. So yeah, his logo's not green and some of these joints are still silver, but he's mostly green. That shows you who he is basically. So if I press play, he's not gonna do anything. We've removed all his logic for input so he's not moving when I'm moving and he won't move anyway because he doesn't know what to do he's got no brain at the moment so let's add a little bit of logic to him and create our zombie now obviously he's not going to go for weapons or pickups he's not going to be that smart he's literally going to follow you uh, there are more advanced things inside it the Unreal that let you do proper navigation between nodes. We might look at that another time. We're not going to do it today. We're just going to go into this Blueprints tab here and we open the level blueprint. Now this is empty at the moment. There's nothing else in this level. If I right click, you can see that zombie character already there. That's great. So if I click him, there's a zombie there. And like I said, we need to tell it that it's attached to this zombie and that we can control it and move him around. So we're going to look for the controller that actually moves the pawns around in Unreal. And we go get controller. Now we've got this, but he still doesn't know where to go. So what we're going to do is tell him to look for the player. So if we look at moving to and there's a bunch of options here move to location or actor move to location and move to actor now the player is an actor he's another pla act he's an actor in the world the same as the zombie so if we hit actor there we get this now there are a couple of things we need to set up here at the moment it doesn't know that it has to run and we want it to update all the time, like every time my character moves, so I'll go for a tick. There's a vent tick and we select it. And he's going to check every frame now, the, the engine updates, and he'll try to move towards the player until he's at the player. But I say that, but he, we have no idea where this player is at the moment. We need a goal, so if we drag that out and just look for player in the search, and we've got a couple of different things. We want player pawn, it's a pawn, as I said before. Now, this player index is for other players effectively, so that's why it says a zero at the moment because you're the main player, the first player in the world, so that's fine. You don't need to adjust that, you don't need to get into any more difficulty than that at the moment. So leave it at zero, compile it. Now that's actually part fine. But if we press play now, well he's not moving, he's just standing there still. He's not trying to get to me. Now why is that? Well the way that AI navigation tends to work in 3D games engines is there's this idea of having a nav mesh. It may be called something else in other editors, but basically it helps the player. Uh, sorry, no, it doesn't help, help the player. It helps the AI know where it is in the world uh, and what the limitations are. It's for optimization and also just for like logic. So you can't get to places that you don't want the actual AI to navigate to. So you can limit them. So they run off everywhere, get stuck behind a wall, you know, because there's they think they can get out there and they can't. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the one in Unreal, which is in volumes. And we are going to select this in nav mesh bounds volume here. 
and you see it's green and, and sometimes when you pull that out it'll actually be just a wireframe but if you press P it will show up this green mesh basically so that's why it's called nav mesh it's a mesh that's built by trying to work out uh, how the route between certain places could be bridged basically I'll see what I mean later on. So if I scale this, it will try to cut up the world and show where the AI can potentially navigate to. Now this is controllable, so I'm going to show you some of those options in a second because we'll see when we rescale this that actually there's quite a bit of this that isn't bridged. And actually, if I just do this, so I rescale it and put it over most of the levels so we can get to the AI to follow us mostly around this level. If we press play now, our little zombie guy will work. Here he comes, he's run over to me. I'll go up the stairs though and watch because that never mesh isn't there. He runs off, he tries to get to me, but he gets confused and he gets stuck in that corner because as we can see here that nav mesh doesn't actually complete now there could be a few reasons for this it could be that the slope is too high um, and it can't work out that actually you can draw two points between this ground here and the top of the stairs but actually what's going on here is more likely is that that it's just to do with the steps here. Now we can fix this. We can go into edit and into these project settings. And if we go to engine, there is some settings for AI systems and all that, but we don't want that. We want the navigation mesh because that's what we're editing. Now there's other display options here, we'll ignore those. If we go down to generation because that's our problem we can see a bunch of options here now like I said I don't think it's a slope that's that angle is not more than 44 degrees that's it's not going to be that but there is a step height now if we just adjust that slightly keep watching keep watching there we go so that's now linked it was the steps, it didn't understand those 90 degree angled steps. I tweak that a little bit and it's gone green. Now let's just have a look. Now there's another issue here, but I think that's to do with the actual scale of how much the volume is. I think the volume is just clipping out there, see? So actually, when I said that I don't need to rescale that anymore, I'm just going to go out. So this volume, press space to just to the scale tool and scale it a bit more and see it's popped in now. Mostly that navigation mesh is being drawn from the stairs up to this corner. Now you might notice they're clipping. Don't worry about that because it's not the collision. It's simply can I see from this bottom of the point of the stairs up to the top, can I navigate there it's not saying can I collide with these stairs that's done separately in another bit of the engine so if I press play now this is going to be more successful here comes the zombie guy oh no he's, he's attacking me I'll run over here and see he's he can even get me here I can't get away from him so that's a really simple way to create some navigation for your AI and then have the AI follow you using just basically a move to play the location. So I hope you learnt something about AI today and how to set it up in your game and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.